This video is all about how to bring back chivalry and romance in modern relationships. I'll be sharing tips on how to treat a lady with respect, affection, and a touch of old school charm. This is from the book The Art of Manliness by Brett and Kate McKay. You can get the book from the link top of the description. This is from the chapter The Lover. It used to be that a man worked hard to be worthy of a woman's love. Instead of being mere sexual objects, women were seen as people who deserved the very best from a man. Men would direct all their sexual passions to becoming the best man they could be so they could win the heart of a woman they loved. During medieval times, knights lived by the code of chivalry, roaming the countryside and gallantly protecting and winning the hearts of damsels in distress. In the Victorian era, men sought to win the affections of ladies through elaborate rituals of calling cards, parlour visits, balls and buggy rides. When men went off to fight the big one, the memory of a beautiful dame back home carried them through many a long and dark night in the belly of a submarine. In the 1950s, a man asked his favourite girl to go steady and proved his affections by pinning her with his fraternity badge. Fast forward to the modern day, women no longer want to be rescued by a man. Hanging out has supplanted dating and going steady, has been resigned to the dust pile of embarrassing terms alongside necking and petting. Of course, one shouldn't look to the past through the glasses of uncritical nostalgia. History may be filled with golden examples of romantic love, but it was also marked by the assumption of a woman's inferiority. Yet, in our attempt to completely equalise the relations between the sexes, the art of gentlemanly courtship was thrown out with the bath water. Ask any woman today, what her biggest complaint is about men, and she'll probably tell you that there aren't any real men to be found. What they see are a bunch of boys walking around in men's bodies, but they're looking for a man who will take care of them, a man who knows how to treat a lady. They're looking for men who take initiative in a relationship and are willing to commit. Unfortunately for women, these manly qualities are in short supply. Men have forgotten the art of romance and the responsibilities of love. Under the guise of equality, they've stopped working for a woman's love altogether, they want the benefits of relationships without any of the responsibilities. A woman can still be a man's equal and yet be worthy of being treated with honour, respect and swoon-worthy romance. Relationships still involve affectionate courting, romantic traditions and a little mystery. Sure, this may sound old-fashioned and quaint, but with all the ills that plague modern relationships, perhaps we can take a lesson from our forebears. Reading the letters and hearing the stories of our grandparents reveals how happy they were together and how much affection they had for one another. Perhaps we, too, can experience the happiness and joy that comes with being a gentlemanly lover. Now the subhead in the art of chivalry. The motto of chivalry is also the motto of wisdom, to serve all but love only one. Honor de Balzac. Thankfully, society has made great strides in the area of gender equality. Gone are the days where women were considered property and were thought incapable of doing anything other than housework. Yet the equality of the sexes has made the polite way of interacting with women confusing to some men. Too many fellows mistake equality with absolute sameness and treat a lady like they would any other dude. Women still want to be treated with class. So set yourself apart from the multitudes of cads out there by practicing the simple but effective art of chivalry. One caveat, be attentive to the desires of women. While many women appreciate these gestures, some feel uncomfortable with them. Respect the request of a woman who does not wish to be treated chivalrously. Open the door. A gentleman will always open and hold the door for a lady. This rule applies to car doors as well, of course. Open the car door. Wait until she is seated, then close it. Carry a handkerchief. A clean hanky should be a part of every man's arsenal, ready to be handed to a woman in distress. They'll be especially useful at funerals or sad movies. Retrieve dropped items. The polite thing to do is help pick up a lady's dropped items. Lend your fellow gents a hand too. Walk beside a lady on the stairs. Never walk behind a woman on the stairway. Walk on the outside of a sidewalk. This allows your lady to be further from the traffic. This way, if someone is going to be splashed, it will be you, not her. Give up your seat. If a lady arrives at a table or boards a subway or bus and there are no available seats, 
you should stand up and offer yours to her. This rule also applies to the elderly and physically handicapped of either gender. Get out of your car. When you pick up a date, get out of the car and come to her door. A honk or call from your cell phone letting her know you have arrived demonstrates a true lack of class. Introduce her to people. Whenever you run into acquaintances, introduce your date to them. This invites her into the conversation and doesn't leave her standing there in social limbo. Put on her coat. Always help a lady put on her coat or overgarments. This simple gesture truly marks you as a gentleman. Make sure she gets home safely. You should always offer to walk or drive her home. If she doesn't feel comfortable having you accompany her, put her in a cab and pay the driver. Walk her to the door. When the date is over, get out of the car and offer to walk her to the door. Don't presume she wants you to go to the door because she might not yet be comfortable with you doing so. Even if your date declines, still get out of the vehicle, open her car door and bid her good night. Pay attention to the weather. If the weather is cold and your date is chilly, off your jacket. If it's raining, hold the umbrella. If it's icy, snowing or pouring rain, play valet and go get the car so she doesn't have to brave the elements. Thank you for watching. Please like if you learned something and subscribe to keep learning. If you want to read the whole book, then the link is top of the description. If you haven't watched my other videos on this book or the next video on this book is out, then the playlist will be on screen. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.